Hey everybody, it's BDL44 coming at you with another video. Alright, so I'm listening to all the chatter talking about how uh, the Los Angeles Lakers front office is blaming a Clutch Sports and LeBron James for Russell Westbrook's trade. Based on all the chatter that I'm hearing, I've formed my opinion. Just hearsay. So, take it as that. Just a guy's opinion. I've been following this team my whole life, but most definitely this season, especially all season long. If I've been following me, you know exactly what I think of this front office. You know exactly what I think of the coach that we just fired. You know exactly what I think of the roster, the young players, everything. You know. At this point, I don't want the front office to really be answering questions about what went wrong for last season. Although I know they're being asked a lot of questions and the pressure's being applied. It's no more or less than the pressure they've been dealing with for the last 30 years. I think the Lakers need to ignore that. I think what we need to be doing right now is not necessarily dealing with anyone's opinions or PR stuff in regards to the mistakes that were made. I think what the Lakers need to be doing, honestly, is learning. And I don't mean that in any figurative way. I'm not, this is not some rah-rah speech. No, no, I'm talking about actually learning. They need to get cap savvy. They need to be studying players that are going to be coming into the league over the between now and the next 10 years. They need to be studying about what helps them build the franchise that they're trying to build and what will get them to where they need to be. They need to be doing all of their homework right now. All of the smart stuff, that's the stuff the Lakers need to be doing because trying to build a team next season that will make up for the mistake that they just made with the assets that we have isn't realistic. What they're going to end up doing is selling us some more BS and we're not going to buy it. It's going to fail and they're going to continue to look silly. You need to start peeling off the band-aids here, pulling off the scabs, and, and, you know, it's time to just let it all hang out because at the end of the day, we got some real problems. And we're not going to be able to fix those issues unless we face them head on. And it starts with the front office, and you're seeing what the problem is as we discuss this here topic because instead of doing the learning doing the homework they're deflecting blame they're reacting to chatter they're being swayed with the tide they're focused on other stuff than winning a next year's championship or, or field, building this team rather so that we can be a sustainable team that can win championships because asking for them to build another championship next season is definitely not what I'm asking them to do. Because that would mean that we mortgaged more of our future and gambled even more so than we just did. All in the name of trying to double down on what has already been a mistake. Did we win our one championship? Absolutely. Are we pleased with how everything has panned out after that? Absolutely not. Is anybody going to lie to themselves about that? No. Are we going to let outsiders guilt trip us into believing that our championship is worthy of our suffering? No. Because we shouldn't be in this situation in the first place. We should have our championship and have some of our assets. The Lakers did things that should not have been done, and that is why we're as bad as we are. It ain't as simple as we traded away our future, and now here we are. No, we traded away our future, did a bunch of dumb stuff, and now here we are. And the dumb stuff was done, including the decision to trade away the future, by a certain group of people who are still in position right now, reacting to things the wrong way, ready to make another bad decision. And that is what I'm trying to get everyone who follows me to see. And this front office is the problem. 
the next coach they hire, whoever it is, it's going to be one of two things. Either they're the right coach that's got to come into a bad situation, he's going to hate it. Or he's going to be the wrong coach coming into a bad situation, he's going to hate it. Because this ain't a good situation. <clears throat> In fact, it's one of the worst. And I'm a lifelong fan. I'm not going anywhere either. This is not something I'm saying, oh, I'm sick of this and I'm leaving the fan. No. That's the problem. I'm attached to this nonsense. This is a lifetime of pain I'm, ahead, I'm, I'm looking forward to. If this team continues on its trajectory and this front office continues mortgaging in our future. I already know we're going to suck for the next four years because of this, but it can get a lot worse if they keep trading away picks. Keep mortgaging in the future for LeBron James, who still believe he can tank, charge through the Western Conference like he did the East ten years ago. I'm sorry, brother. If he don't come around to understanding where you at <laughs> and understand that this is not where it used to be and that you cannot, you can't build the way you used to or even approach franchises the way that you have been, that they will not be successful going forward. And being unsuccessful will not be tolerated going forward. Because, see, that's the difference between what he's used to and what, what, what I'm preaching over here. We will not tolerate being accepting of being unaccept, un, unsuccessful. We want to win. We're not going to be sitting here saying it's okay that we are mortgaging our future for a chance at a championship that we may or may not get that's not real to us if we get lucky and capture the chip voila okay we got it but we got lucky i look at the people who are winning championships and who are winning the play in the playoffs right now they're not lucky they've taken the steps they have an infrastructure that has done the homework they did the learning then they hired people then they drafted people then they executed a plan and a vision for a team they studied the game in a way that made it so that they, when they built they built with winning in mind and, it, and that will make them money that will attract free agents that will put them in position to be on television that will do it all for them but if you don't take care of the basketball then you're just going to have a lot of people looking at you laughing at you instead of a lot of people looking at you rooting for you and that's what the lakers are laughing stock if that's if that equals revenue for now okay hey if that makes you happy cool but you have a lot of die hard fans who are going to be miserable who are not going to be happy with this type of production from year to year i don't want to gamble i want a sustainable franchise that can win That's all I'm saying. So this front office is talking about all oh, whose fault it is. With the, I don't care whose fault it is because I already know who fault it is. It's the front office. Why? Because they brought clutch to the table. This is not about anything other than the front office. If, if clutch did something you don't want them to do, it's because you allowed it. Don't sit up here and tell me the people you hired did something you didn't want them to do. That's y'all business. Figure it out. You see what I'm saying? That's how it looks to everybody. It's not just me as a fan. This is exactly how you're coming off, Lakers. You think that hopes some substance? You sitting here telling us how incompetent you are from the inside out? That the people you've done partnerships with, you can't get along with on simple stuff like who to bring to the table? Who to put on a team? How do you think this makes you look? This just furthers the point that everybody's saying that the problem is y'all. It, it ain't the coach. It ain't the players. It's the people who are bringing the coach and the players to the team. They ain't the ones that need to change their way of doing things. You know, and, and since we have seen a deflection of blame or excuses or however you perceive what it is that they're responding to the response itself is just proving to me that they're not focused on what it is they should be that's the bottom line i don't blame russell westbrook for unfollowing everybody and trying to get up out of here 
it's not even about how bad he played or how bad his experience was here. Look at how y'all acting. In regards to acquiring him, y'all talking about whose fault it was? That's like, that's how unprofessional. Yes, was he a bad Laker for us this year? Yeah, was it a, yes, it's all of that. Do the media talk about it? Yes, they do. But for you as an organization to acknowledge it like the media is acknowledging it, it's classless. Just like the way you fired Vogel was classless. Just like the way you handled Ty Lue was classless. Just like the stuff that Jerry West is over there complaining about. It's a lot of stuff like Lakers, your front office, Genie, it's piling up. It's just piling up. You got too many people pointing at y'all saying we don't like how you handled it. I'm sitting here as a fan saying I'm not happy with how you're handling things. It's y'all. Clutch is here because of you. And if the partnership isn't working out, it's because y'all ain't held up y'all into the bargain. Or y'all weren't fully committed to what it is that they were talking about. For whatever reasons. They held up the end of the bargain. They here, they brought a championship. And by the ratio of what Braun does, you got what it is that you thought you were going to get out of him. That's what, that's what the numbers tell you. He's going to win. About one every four times, that's what you get. That's Braun. You mortgage your future, that's what you sign up for. It's Braun. We've seen this movie many times. When you sign up for this, this is what you get. But you got to figure out what you're going to do afterwards. We're in the afterward stage. This is, this is what you've expedited, that process when you traded for Russell Westbrook and gave away all of our assets. You expedited that process. It had a couple more years on it. But now, it's expired. It's over. The field dictates that. We just don't have what we need and we can't get to it. So, you got to trade these two guys. Get back the picks that you've given away or at least half of them. Get back some assets you can trade for picks and start the process of a rebuild. That's the only choice you have. You can go forward with those guys next year. One of them gets hurt. Now you don't have those assets. You can build... Rebuild for even less, because that's what ends up happening there. If one of them gets hurt, you're still going to rebuild. You just have a heck of a lot less to work with. You know that, though. But y'all want to sit up here and complain and, and place blame, and believe me, you're just one second away from your next mistake because of it. It's you, Laker front office, whoever you are, all 30 of y'all. It's you who are the problem. Fix that part first, Genie. That part is what is most decayed about your business. That's all I got to say. My name is BDL44. I thank y'all for watching. And I'm out.